There it is. The one thing that I would advise you to, to, yeah. to still pay attention to is how far back your left hand goes. See, what you're doing is like you're doing the Djokovic style where you're, you're taking the racket back and the left hand goes really far back yeah. on this yeah. side. I noticed, yeah. So what happens like a lot that. of times is like because the hand is so far back here, you can't get out of the rotation properly. Mm. And the rotation sequencing is more difficult. So it's not wrong to go here if you can get out of it. But if you feel like you catch yourself being a little bit late, what you can do to adjust that is not allow the left hand to go past the middle point right here. So this is the middle point of your body. Don't allow the left hand to stay past the middle point of the body, but just go here and just let go like this. Okay? That's gonna allow you to rotate faster because the, your, your left hand is closer. So only, so only go to here? Only go to there. Yep, try that. See, actually coiling too much is a problem. You still went too far back. And go a little bit less. A little bit less. Right here. Here's the middle part of your body. Go right here. Don't go, so go ahead and turn all the way. Turn all the way. Turn your shoulders. Okay, but now here, let go right here of your left hand. Let go right here in this spot, okay? And now uh, you hit it from here. You're staying too long with the left hand. Your left hand is, words, yeah, left hand. yeah, you're, you're allowing the left hand to go too far back. There you go. There you go, there it is. What you will find is a lot more power this way. Really? Yes. You get a lot more power. Because what happens is with a lot of recreational players, is that they have the right intention of, of coiling. This happens on the serve too. They, the thought process is correct, but they want to coil a lot. They want to turn a lot and load up the shot. But what if you can't come out of the coil? What if your, bo on, what, if your, what if your body movements are not fast mm -hmm. enough to get out of the coil? Now you're making contact late and you're not actually getting a lot less power. So at the rec level, a tip that I give to pretty much everyone because most people aren't able to get out of the coil that's too large, I tell them don't go past the middle point of your body with your left hand. Now the distance to the ball is shorter. You understand? So mm -hmm. the uncoiling phase is a little bit shorter and it's easier to rotate into the ball because the most important thing on the forehand is making contact at the right place.